My friends challenged me to a Bilbao, so I'll be cheating with scary paste. Meaning I can use this scary computer to create the scariest mobs possible, just so I can scare my friends. Scary dweller. Ooh. Don't get scared, guys. And now that I'm over on my side, I'm not going to be here for long. And that's because if I leave my area, I'm going to come across this giant skull. And the closer I get, the scarier this might seem. But right here is a scary computer, which I can actually control. So before anything, we're going to be searching for a cave. And already, this might be a great cave to paste in. And since this is scary paste, I can just click and paste this in. And just like that, we have the scary cave. There we go. We got one of his legs right here. So half the legs are done so far. And while I don't want to explore this too much, that was only the start. Because now if I search up scary dweller, I can paste in anything from here. Meaning you see this creature? I can put him into Minecraft. Or something as simple as this. So I'm just going to quickly paste this. Meaning it should be in the cave. And heading back into my cave, I already see something. The creature from the computer. And he's awfully still. Meaning once it turns night, he's going to haunt his victims. But now we know scary paste actually works. Meaning before I continue building, what exactly is Kipley making? Alright, this is kind of looking like Steve, right? We got his shirt. And Pepper on the other hand is making a cool looking house. Alright, that's a pretty good base for the house. Maybe a few more details right here. So in the meantime, I'm going to start with my build which will lead into the dweller who's just creepily looking at me. You know, not scary at all. All I really need to make is a camp. And now I'm going to add some campfires in the middle to give it some life. And now this campfire looks really cool, but there's nothing living in here and that's where the scary computer comes back in and all i really need to do is type in scary steve and automatically this looks very creepy and i want this guy because i think he's the perfect thing to scare my friends so let me paste this guy and hopefully he's perfect this looks so creepy how are you in minecraft so far the camp area looks awesome because it'll eventually lead into the cave meaning now we have a steve dweller and a cave dweller which has disappeared oh no where did he go what is he making he's making a cabin now just need to have some chests inside the camp along with a bed i think some banners could be cool and just to give it a little bit more texture i'll bone mill some of the moss just so it looks a little bit more natural and then sheep is over here making uh oh he's making the the white dweller the one with like that turns his head like this i like it so far i can now finish the camp off with a few little trees around the area and like that we have the first area of the camp done now the next build requires me to paste in a scary tree so before i even do that i'm gonna check up on everyone else's build and taking a closer look at peppers hello who is that get out of here it doesn't give me scary dweller vibes meaning i can paste in some scary creatures hello okay 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 those things are dangerous and just like that, I'm pretty sure Pepper just got scared. We gotta get revenge. We gotta get revenge. Sheep, on the other hand, looks like he's making a robot. And the first rule of building, never build with wool. What is that? No, someone's setting on fire. And like that, your build is completely burning, Sheep. I'm not even using wool in it. I'm building this legit and, and I'm still getting trolled. But now that I bought myself some time, I could pretty much search Scary Tree. And weirdly enough, these eyes watching me, I don't really like it. So I kind of want to get out of here by pacing in a Scary Tree. And along the lines of this looks awesome. So I'm going to click this and paste it in like that. Now, what exactly do we have here? I did pasting a spooky tree, but we have hanging skeletons, also hanging ghosts. And that isn't the worst bit. The tree is covered in blood and a bunch of spookiness to scare my friends, which makes this the next perfect build. Because once they go past the tree, they'll visit the scary cave. So sorry, sheep. This is why you don't build out of wool. Although your name is sheep, so this kind of makes sense why you built out of wool. I see for and steal again. Quickly! Light it on fire! Did someone light my build on fire? They did. Every time. So all I really need to do is make a path over to the tree. And from the tree, they'll head over to this way. And I'm just thinking over here, I'm going to build a small house. That's kind of simple. But this house is also going to be something along the lines of a mountain house. Just by elevating it slightly and raising it up by one. Okay, this is starting to look awesome. Beautiful. I'm going to create a quick pathway going between these villager houses. Now some small finishing textures, which will just be to extend this slightly more. Unlike that, we have a somewhat cool house. But I could definitely use these heads to just spookify this entire place like that this place already looks so much more spooky he looks weird <laughs> 
And the reason I kind of made it a mountain house is because I'm going to add a little fence gate over here. And inside here will be a small farm. And no normal mob will be inside here. Now, I'm going to be spawning some sheep inside. So, can anyone guess what I'll be scarily pacing next? Well, if anyone guessed the screaming sheep, you'd actually be correct. I should definitely add the word scary. And this picture right here is perfect. So, by clicking this, it should practically paste in. I'm going to hope the scary computer does its thing. So, now when I head to my sheep fence arena, we have an imposter sheep. Sheep, the screaming sheep that looks completely weird. All right, so right now we just have a just a house, but with a little bit of work with commands, we can make it to where when you get close, the house transforms into a scary version. Well, the next thing doesn't require me to scary paste. I'm gonna create a giant crater and using some simple world edit, it should be relatively kind of easy. Like that should work. Now all you do is believe in the process. So first off, I need to cover this area so it doesn't look open. And now that the trees are growing, I think you guys are understanding the vision because we have a Steve dweller, we have a sheep dweller and we have a cave dweller meaning we don't have a void dweller yet but that's kind of gonna be for later but from here we won't head into the cave exactly yet because there's one more building i still need to make and it's gonna be right here now it's not gonna be anything too impressive but i just need to make a lab and i hate to do this but it's a must and with that explosion Okay, perfect. Something like this. There we go. I like it. But over here, I'm just going to place some brewing potions so people know exactly what sort of lab this is. And if it wasn't obvious enough, I don't place a sign saying lab. Experiments do not enter. And this is exactly where the dwellers spawn inside this lab, which I think this is kind of deep enough. Now, why build a lab? When I can literally just search scary lab and get a bunch of things I can potentially paste. Like, for example, I could spawn this, a lab dweller, maybe a mad scientist lab, or even something better. And I'm talking Walking something creepy and deserted like this. It's what you call a spooky abandoned laboratory. 4K. Well, 4K download scary lab incoming because this is going to be awesome. And if I go inside the scary lab, these blocks weren't here before. What happens if I go down here? Okay. I'm officially mind blown. What even is this? this is it opens. Okay, wait. I'm hearing random noises. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I take it back. What in the world is this? All right. There we go. One arm done. I'm going to place a few trees around here just to liven up the place. I think at this point, I just add some iron fences. And that's probably just so they know this place is completely off limits. Okay. Yeah. This looks awesome. Just doing that, it looks more like this was an ancient kind of alien explosion that caused this. Just so they realize I'm actually inside the barrier and I don't get deducted points, I'll be fixing this. And just to give more immersion, I'm gonna be covering up this wall because right now it looks kind of weird. And I think like that, this area is now complete too. Now to create the cave inside of his mouth. This is gonna be so scary. Now it's time just for a little secret build hack. We start off by just placing a bunch of moss everywhere, and then it just involves bone milling. I am gonna be editing this cave a little bit because as cool as it does look, it does need to fit the theme of it's kind of overgrown. This entire area is just abandoned civilization mode. I'll take the impaled heads and just place them all around around here. I can use the grounded zombies from the tree. And the last thing is just gonna be straight blood. And like that, this entire thing's done. Meaning now we have to meet in the middle. So we vote for the scariest build. All right, gentlemen, follow me this way. We're gonna start at this path down here. Okay, that, I can already tell this is gonna look crazy. Ooh. Come down here. You can see something uh, in the distance, but we'll uh, we'll get to that first of all. Oh, wow. I need you all to go in survival, all right? Okay, I, I don't wanna die here, Kipley. You get that potion, you get that potion. Potion, you get that potion. Use it wisely. Pepper, you go first. Do you trust your friends? Yes. Oh, absolutely. All right, to the next sign. Are you sure he doesn't dwell among you? Yo, what? There are no imposters, right? Okay, no, I think everyone's normal, right? Are you brave enough? Well, that's not a question. Let's keep going. Dweller trial above. You're just ignoring these things. No, whoa, don't kill him. I'm getting shot up. Wonderful, you guys made it up. Uh, Pepper's already gone first. Uh, I'm gonna die if I go down. I've got two hearts. One minute. Uh, okay. Dweller trial below. Oh, he dwells. Get crawling. Okay, I don't like this at all. Oh, it's creepy. Choose, live, die. One of them is open, so we can just look. Okay, that one looks like it kills you. <laughs> this one looks like it doesn't. So we'll go this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's an idiot. Come down here. Come down here. Okay, we head down and... Oh, I hear a weird noise. Whoa, what is that? Yo, how? Wait, I didn't spawn him. I don't know what that is. Wait, what was that? Where did that guy come from? What 
just happened? No, wait. Yeah, there were diamonds. You guys were supposed to win, not die. I was serious. I don't know what that was. You made a build that was so terrifying, it actually summoned a dweller. So I think that, that means you get a 10, right? I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't believe I'm going to say the same thing. This gets a 10. This build is dangerous. I, I died. It was unfair. I, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Can't believe you got 29 out of 30. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my village. Ooh, okay, okay. I like the village vibe. Ignore my 2D dweller. I know it looks pretty weird, but th there's a reason for it, okay? Fair enough. These villagers, they, they've seen this uh, this dweller, and this dweller comes around every now and then, but they've noticed that every time they make a sacrifice, the dweller leaves. Wait. So what they do every year is they build this massive, massive dweller, and they put a villager at the top. See? Let me see this. Oh. They're currently doing the ceremony before they burn it. So Quiff, would you like to do the honors and uh, take this foot and steel? Oh, I'm going to take the foot and steel. Oh. So just set it alight. Oh my, this is so evil. Kill the villager, sacrifice. But uh, there's a bit of a twist. Uh, if you come to this house over here. Oh no. You'll uh, you'll find out there's, there's a basement. Oh, it gets worse. Secret basement. Now uh, it actually turns out one of the villagers is actually the dweller. <gasps> Yo. It's actually the dweller who's uh, who's leading the village. Yo, what? I like that law. The plot twist is crazy. Okay, sheep, this is awesome. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This is a 9.5 out of 10. All right, it's cool. It's interactive and it's got a great story. I'm giving it a 10. You nailed everything. Sheep got 20 out of 30. We're just walking around, you know, just got a normal looking house off in the distance, right? Actually, sorry, not a normal looking house. A, a beautiful, fabulous little cabin that you could reside in. It is beautiful. It's very detailed. It looks nice. Very nice detailed. So you just approach it. You're like, wow, this is very cozy. I might want to live here. And then all of a sudden, as you get too close. Okay, I'm getting close. I'm getting close, guys. Oh my! Ah! And then oh. transforms to consume you. It's a Yo. monster house! Pepper, you've outdone yourself. This is honestly a 9 out of 10, too. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. This gets an 8 out of 10. Pepper got 27 out of 30. Now, welcome to my scary dweller of an area. Ooh, is this a little tent? Yep, you're greeted with a camp. Huh? What is that? What was that? I don't know. Where is it going? Wait, what it's is that? It's the Steam Dweller. I built you, bro. I built you. And then you head back over here and you realize, wait a second. What's going on? Wait, yeah, look at this. There's a, so many dead skeletons. Oh, the sheep. What the? Look at the sheep. You deal with that. It's your people. And you come across this house. Now, this house might look ordinary to you. Uh, nice. It does not look ordinary there's giant <laughs> there's, <laughs> like heads, there's heads, everywhere. heads everywhere yeah and you can go inside see if anyone's lived here there's nothing really of value this is a normal looking house uh what's this oh hey oh! i'm gone bye bye yeah out the door out the door out the door and now once you follow the road you realize there's two entrances there's either the right into the ruined building or the cave look there's zombies coming out of the ground by this tree yo yo what is that but then you enter the cave <gasps> It's a dweller! Run, run, run! I got the armor! I got. Uh. Oh my gosh, Pepper! Oh! Uh. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, this is where he lived! The cave dweller! Yep, we had a steam dweller, a sheep dweller, a cave dweller. And now you head into the lab. Oh, okay. This is the creepiest lab entrance I've ever seen. And then we head down. Uh, guys? Uh oh. What is down here? This is the real cave. Yo, this lab is awesome. Yo, uh, Kipley behind you. Kipley behind you. Oh, what is no, that? Do not touch oh. that. Why is it Do not touch oh. that. Kipley. Oh Kipley, are you all right? Yeah, this gets a 10 out of 10. I got to give it an 11. This is so much. I mean, I gave 10s on everything, and this is the best, so I have to give it an 11. I mean, I don't know what else to say. This is a 10 out of 10. Meaning scary pace was the best, and no one could beat it. Apocalypse. Oh, okay. Okay, good luck, guys. It's the end of the world. Good luck. And we won't be staying on my side for too long, and that's because if I head over to this scary-looking school... Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to die, or I hope I don't. All I need to do is follow the blood, and I'm welcome to a giant computer. It's kind of weird how it's looking at me. But this is the scary computer where I'll be able to paste scary stuff. For example, if I search apocalypse, all this is shown. And it's definitely very creepy. For example, we could do the end of times right here. Maybe something like this, but it 
might go over the edge of the build limit. Something classic like a rundown C might be the perfect opportunity. So by pacing this, we now have two rundown buildings. All right, so we're gonna start with a half circle-ish thingy, and then we're gonna, hmm, we need to like flip this. I think this is supposed to be a gas station, and this is supposed to be a car. And over here is a rundown building with nothing really inside. I kid you not, these rooms are completely empty. Meaning now this is where it gets scary. By simply searching zombie, I can actually pick a zombie like this and paste him straight in. And now that I'm already back to my build, I already see a few zombies that don't look like normal zombies at all. All right, here we have a village. Now let's uh, let's start spreading some skulk around here, shall we? And I hear some weird noises. Okay, what are you? Okay, this guy's losing it. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I pasted this guy in wrong. But yo, these guys look so weird. But this is when I check up on Kipley. And I see she's making something along the lines of Skulk Village. Add some Skulk to the buildings. I like it. Over on Pepper side, I have no idea what in the Tony Stark looking building is that. All right, that's a perfect outline for what we're looking for. We just need to, mm, we need like the windows. And then we need the number. And then we need uh, uh, more windows. Well, I definitely a little bit more builds and the next thing i'm definitely gonna be looking for is a tank and a tank like this might be kind of cool because all of them really look the same and it's not really too much of an effort so let me paste this and before i leave the computer i'm gonna add some hazmat suits to give more of an apocalypse vibe so let me paste you guys in too okay scary paste is amazing and wait the tank already looks awesome but i've also realized there's actual people here now hazmat suits with swords and shields and okay no the different versions of hazmat suits because i do remember there were two suits in there. These guys have flamethrowers. It should spread naturally just by them burning up on the spot. Okay, this definitely looks very creepy, but also very pasted in. So I'm going to use Wilder to elevate the actual floor just so I can make this place look a little bit more clearer. I've evened it out. And then over on this side, I will be making a bit of a mountain. And now I'm going to smooth the brush a little bit to make it seem more mountain-like and completely natural. And just like that, no one will be able to tell the difference between a normal mountain and my Wilder mountain. But I do feel like there's a lot missing and for that i'll be heading over to kipley's place where i'm seeing a skulk infestation which means there's one thing missing and that's wardens wait i don't remember this wait i didn't spawn these guys in oh pepper's making a vault that's super cool but not as cool as what i'm gonna be pasting in next why would it need a nuclear bunker and that's because I'm going to be pasting in an actual nuke. Oh, I hope this build battle doesn't go and everything gets exploded. I'm not even too sure. By pasting in this actual nuke. Oh, it just pasted a nuke. That's kind of cool. I can't lie. What even is inside here? Oh, it looks like some ritual room. This could kind of work with the build. I'm liking this. And now what needs to happen is a bit of damage around the entire area. Because in an actual apocalypse, the ground won't actually be nice. Now, this is kind of done. But honestly, as much as grass is really cool, what if I change the floor? to something like this. I think it definitely looks a lot better and adds some depth. The last thing I really need to do is maybe just make a little vault over here. And that's kind of where the vault will be. Now we're missing the final residence. And all I've really done is type in mutated mobs. And it actually comes up with some mutated mobs, which works out in my favor. But I'm going to do something risky. I'm going to be pasting this entire page. So whatever's on here will now be in my build. I really hope I didn't mess up. Oh, what have I come back to? That's not a ghast. What is that? I don't even know. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Other than you. In the meantime, why is Kipley made a pyramid. There we go. Okay, a little altar. I think I'm done. Meaning now we have to meet in the middle to vote for the best build. All right, gentlemen, follow me this way into our skulk apocalypse. Oh, this looks crazy. Look at all the population. They don't seem apocalyzed to me, though. They look completely normal. They, uh, they need a lot of them for certain purposes. So at night, Ooh. you have to stalk around not making too much noise, all right? This village has certain defenses. Okay. And he just casually opened the door. What do you mean? They're opening doors. Well, these guys live here. This is their home. We are outsiders, right? It all started when they came from down there. Oh, we have some lore I like. Come this way. I'll show you their village's prize area. A skulk pyramid. This village needs such a high population because they do sacrifices. I volunteer myself. All right. Everyone else needs to be in survival mode and not walking around. All right. We're not moving. Let the ceremony begin. Yo, wait. Kipley? No, my. Come here. <laughs> what is Peppa doing? Oh, <laughs> get their attention. No. And yes, this is my Skulk Apocalypse Village. The Wardens have taken over. Kipley, I like what you did. This is actually insane. I have to give it a 9 out of 10. Take love it. the theme. Love the vibe. 
Also, 9 out of 10. Yay! So what's the most trendy apocalypse right now? It has to be Fallout. Yeah, Fallout. The You know, the new show that came out. So I made... Okay. The Vault from uh, Fallout 76. This is, this is what it looks like. This is really cool. It's just kind of, you know, a big aesthetic build. It's just got, you know, all the details. It's It looks exactly like it does in the game. Okay, so people go in the vault to avoid a nuclear apocalypse, right? Yes. All right, is there anything inside, though? There is... Oh! Pepper! We, time is limited. What type of apocalypse bunker is this? I could see the vision, though. You just went, I think you just went too big. I would have liked a little interior, even if it was small. That's fair. That's fair. But either way, it still is awesome. I can't lie. So I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. This will get a 7, then, for 76. So once you enter mine, you are visited with just, and this is a real apocalypse, guys. Yeah, what the heck is this? Wait, what are these guys? Look at the mobs. I don't want to look at the mobs. Wait, what happened to this chicken? It's no longer a chicken. That is not a chicken. Is this from radiation? Yes, they mutated from the radiation. And as you can follow, there's people in hazmat suits everywhere. Oh, like scientists. Oh, they got weapons. Over here, we have a just a little bit of a gas station that's gone run down. Oh, cool. It's got like, oh, it's like a go-kart. Okay, this is cool. And then you look at the zombies. Radiated zombies? What are these guys? And then once we move on from the gas station, you might realize, boom. Yeah, what are these things? Mutated human and zombies. Oh! Yeah, and then there's also a giant building over here where people can maybe refuge in. What is... What the... Mutated Endermans. I thought you said this was supposed to be safe. Yep, I'm gone. And that's pretty much it. You have the nuke setting off over there, which is conveniently also a shop. That's so awesome. I love this. I would shop here in a apocalypse. And I didn't really have time, but over here is actually uh, the start of a vault. This gets a 10 out of 10 from me. I'll take it. I I mean, this has everything ap an apocalypse could ask for. So I'm going to go 11, actually, since you did so well. Meaning Scary Pace was the best and they had no idea I was using it.